Okay guys, today's project is going to be about how to remove rust from the inside of the tank. And here you see my motorcycle gas tank. It's from a Jamal 600. I'm going to use this product that I bought on Amazon. And I'm going to review how it works. I will also tell you what's inside this product. And I will explain how this acid works to remove the rust from the inside of your tank. So the first thing you do when you have a tank like this is that you remove all the external parts and that includes the fuel tap which sits underneath it's located right there so the fuel tap has been removed I'm also going to remove the level indicator and then I'm going to tape these holes and I will open the tank from, from this side and show you where it all starts hang on guys right now it's all sealed from this side so if we're looking into the tank hole here, the inlet, you can see a little bit down there. At least you see that it's kind of red. And that's pretty much what we have in there. Those are the ventilation or tubes there. And it is uh, a lot of flakes, of rusty flakes there. Now this is the bottom side. I have uh, uh, scratched a little bit with the screwdriver over there. And you can see that it's not that much in terms of deep rust. It seems like it's mostly surface rust. So here you see on the surface what was in my tank. And naturally you don't want this to go into your carburetors. So this is why we're doing this rust removal today. Well, rinse the tank from fuel, sand and dirt. The tank must be kept free from grease and oil, which it naturally is because we have a, a petrol in it before. And... Uh, Fill tank with nine liters of hot water for each one liter concentrate. And this is the concentrate. This is the citric acid. I've read in the back here, it says citronen sour. This is a weak acid. It's not a very dangerous acid. It's not like muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid or hydrofluoric acid. It's, a, it's the acid that you have in uh, citrus fruits, but it's concentrated. This thing that comes here in the end, this is an emulsion solution that will seal your tank somehow, or at least prevent it from flash rusting. Now, you want to go with the citric acid. The reason for why you want to go with the weak acid and not hydrochloric acid, which would be the fastest way to remove the rust inside your tank, is because the hydrochloric acid is leaving chloric ions behind, which will make your tank flash rust inside. So you should never have hydrochloric acid when you remove rust from things that you don't want to flash rust afterwards. It says here that you should keep the solution inside your tank 12 to 24 hours. And uh, if you use cold water, it will take you up to 48 hours. Now, something that it doesn't say here is how these uh, acids work. The typical way the acids work is that every 10 degrees Celsius, that your solution is increased in temperature. The that is equivalent with the double concentration of your acid. So that's a general rule in chemistry. So you can play around with these things, but we're going to follow the instructions to start with because I don't have so much rust in my tank. So I will actually use, uh, uh, make a one liter concentration with nine liters of hot water. And then I will use it until I see that everything here is clean from rust. Now the temperature they say should be about 50 to 65 degrees Celsius, ideally. I will take hot water from the tap, which is about 55 degrees Celsius, but it will naturally cool down when I put it into the tank. So I will first flush the tank with hot water. When the whole tank is hot, then I will make the solution and I will see how I can maintain the tank at temperature. Possibly I will get myself a heater that I can stick down here, one of these coffee heaters, so you can heat up everything if it's not sufficient the way we do it. So as you can see our bucket of water there reads 43 degrees. That's like almost 20 degrees short of the recommended temperature that they said in the instruction manual 55 to 60. So I need to double the concentration to have the same effect as I would have at 55 to 60 degrees if I'm using 30 degrees water. So we will fill it up with 2.7 liters of water and then we add the acid on top.
So you see here that already now an effect of dissolving the rust. There's still a lot left, of course, but it seems like the finest fragments are disappearing. So let's take a look again. Still we see there that now the focus is on the flakes on the surface, but there's rust underneath, on the bottom of the tank. I'm going to flush this out and take a look at it. If the water has changed color. And here we go, you see now this yellowish color is dissolved rust. Although it's slowly progressing, we know that the solution is now working. So this is what it looks like after 15 minutes. The temperature is half of what it should be, but the concentration is twice as high as it should be. So now you get the feel for how this progresses. So I'm now filling up with acid at a temperature about 70 degrees for the same acid as we had before, 70 degrees. So it's a little bit warmer than the recommended temperature, 55 to 65 on the instruction manual and that is half of the bottle and now the concentration is according to the instruction manual and now we are at 55.8 degrees the tank should be rust free after 12 to 24 hours healthy metals will not be attacked and how can that be well it's because the citric acid it doesn't leave any corrosive ions so maybe some of you would ask how can you siphon acid well this is weak acid and if you take a little bit on your finger when it's diluted like this and you taste it which you shouldn't do but if you do that you will find out that the taste is the same as if you take a bite in a lemon and it's essentially harmless when it's diluted like this acidity is about the same as vinegar that you put on your salad now of course in the petrol tank there's a lot of dirt, carbon based fuel residuals and other things so those things you need to be aware of. Look inside the tank and here you see what the tank looks like after three hours. This probably needs to sit overnight. Well good morning internet now the tank has been sitting here for overnight which means that we've had our acidic solution in the tank for more than 12 hours and it's um, probably cold now very ineffective acid so we're gonna siphon it out take a look at it what it looks like in the buckets we will see how the progress of this uh, rust dissolution is proceeding and this silicon hose is about five meters so you can properly use this for siphoning and while I'm sucking out a little bit of acid coming down here and filling the hose it's very easy to get it over into the buckets without risking to have it in your mouth so there we go it's apparent that the rust that you have in your petrol tank is not normal rust it's a rust that's mixed with all kinds of um, hydrocarbon species from the petrol so it's like a, a clay almost as you can see there's something happening here the rust seems to be eaten up by the acid And it seems like the top is perfectly clean as you see there 
and that's that's a little bit from the wall it seems perfectly clean from rust as well those fragments there are probably just pieces that are loose you can uh, I look on the other side it also looks free from rust so there's a little bit around the those tubings there there you can see that but it's much better than before so I'm just going to tape it up again close these holes and then rinse it out with the capping agent and then I will let it dry and then I will see if I'm going to do something more with this one Now we have flushed it with a capping agent. So now we're just gonna let it drip out the last little liquid from it and then let it dry. This is what the tank looks like inside now. That's the new fuel level indicator. And you can see that the tank is free from rust on the inside. It's a bit uh, flame-like, but all the rust has been removed. I don't have anything to stick down in here to show you, but if you look around the bolts there, you see that the final treatment was quite effective. So I'm uh, satisfied with the results and uh, I've been driving around now for a few weeks and there's no more rust forming in here. Well, thanks for watching this far and cheers guys.